it gives us more information. We're going to learn a lot more if we get one of these. And with the promise trial, with most of these, what they do is they say, okay, doc, do whatever you usually do. And that's usually going to be a stress test, but randomized, that's the control group. The experimental group will be do whatever you usually do. It's usually a stress test and add a CT angiogram. So when you compare what they usually do, plus a CT angiogram, that's where you're getting the information that it's better. It's more prognostic. And at the end of the day, you actually get an improvement in health. That's the Scott Hart trial that I mentioned a minute ago. In this trial, one group received the standard evaluation. The other one received standard evaluation plus the CT angiogram. As you can see here, this was a big deal that appeared in the New England Journal a few years ago. And again, unfortunately, CT angiogram, despite appearing in a big journal like the New England Journal, despite the information being very clear that it helps, it's like calcium score and CIMT. It's not as big it's not as intuitive and it's not what people have been doing on a standard basis so very few CT angiograms are being done but despite the fact that it helps. The CT angiogram group was found to have an increased number and severity of lesions in the beginning. Lesions meaning they just had more plaque. They had plaque more often, they had worse plaque. Now how could that be? Was that just a random issue or was it actually picking it up more? It was the latter. The people with the CT angiogram found a lot more plaque. 